The thing that attracted me to diamonds is actually their interaction with people. We people make diamonds what they are. So for me it's a human part of the story. The diamonds are human for me. So uh, behind each diamond is a story. Behind each story is another story. So when you dig up and you see the cultural uh, heritage behind every major jewelry piece of diamond, you become fascinated with this. My name is Alex Popov. I am the president of the Moscow Diamond Bourse. And as such, I've been traveling to India for the last 15 years. And, uh, and I became enchanted with this place. And uh, the three years ago, we established the World Diamond Museum, which is the loose confederation of enthusiasts trying to put the conservation, the knowledge and the research of diamonds to the uh, benefit of the general public. So my name is uh, Dr. Usha Balakrishnan. I am a jewelry historian. I'm also the principal curator of the World Diamond Museum. My whole interest and study of Indian jewelry actually started with diamonds. Uh, I started studying the uh, ancient gem trade and I discovered that uh, India was uh, the sole supplier of diamonds to the world for more than 2,000 years. Diamonds were first discovered in India, going back to the 2nd century AD. So for me, my study of Indian jewelry actually all started with diamonds. The connection between Russia and India is based on diamonds. The first uh, Russians who came here were fascinated with diamonds, and there are even the poems and the operas written on this subject. So that's always was very fascinating for me. So basically I can say that my connection to diamonds goes through India and not the other way around. The story that I found uh, fascinating in this history is the fact that uh, the balance of trade has been in, had been in India's favor for well on 1,500 years, primarily due to the export uh, of diamonds from India. Uh, there were people coming, there were merchants, there were gem traders, there were jewelers and above all there were invaders who were all descending on India to plunder our treasuries, to buy diamonds that were being sold uh, in the bazaars, in the gem bazaars all along the west and the east coast of India. I think all of us in India have some kind of diamond jewelry. Uh, so as far as I'm concerned, uh, perhaps uh, a pair of earrings that I got for my first birthday, which I haven't kind of broken up, but I still treasure very much. It's a tiny pair of earrings set with diamonds. I wear them even today. Real means human. Real means real emotions. Real means, for me, real commitment. Real uh, human interaction. And I th as I said before, the diamonds for me, I see them through the prism of human and not the other way around. So real is something that's, that's got energy, that has a certain power, that has got certain magic, that has got a certain uh, eternal value to it. And I think all this boils down to, to what diamonds represent for me.